Hey Techno Studs, in this video, let's set up our demo Pi to be a DHCP server for IP version 6 addresses. The first thing that I'm going to do is get into that file that we edited when we uh, configured it with the DHCP version 4 address. So I'm going to jump into this uh, ISC DHCP server file right here, and I'm going to go down to where it says interface interfaces version 6. I'm going to in there type in eth0 once again. And uh, what I can do is it's actually referencing a couple different files up here. It says the default file is this file right here, but I'm going to reference both these files right here. And so I'll uh, reference, notice that this is the dhcpd6.conf. And so let's go now into there and edit that document. I'm gonna save this out, so I'll hit Control X. I wanna save and I'll save it to there. All right, next I'm gonna get into that dhcpd6.com file and we'll edit that file. So as we scroll through here, um, we will find a very similar line where it's specifying the scope. So there's a lot of extra configurations. A lot of these configurations mimic those that we saw in the DHCP version four. Uh, but I'm going to go down to where I see where it defines my different scopes and let's define a scope. All right, here we go. They found this section where it's the subnet where the server is attached and I have defined this subnet six. Um, this is the, the address range that we've been working with on our test network. And then I have specified the range that I want handed out through uh, this IP version six DHCP. So this is the range is specified here. It's this actually the same range 150 to 160 as the IP, IP version four addresses. And then we put the end curly bracket here to end the statement. So I just uncommented these three lines and let's save this out and see what it looks like. Currently, we have a static IP address assigned to our demo laptop. So what we're going to do is we're going to get on there on the properties of this interface and we will go to uh, IP version six here, click on properties and we'll say obtain automatically. And we'll close that out. We'll give it a second to update and then we'll check to see if it's updated. Okay, I did IP config slash renew on this machine and you can see it's got an updated address here. We now have see that FC00 colon one colon colon 160. So this is the address within the address range that we set up on that DHCP server. So it got a DHCP address and we are good to go.